The story of the private investigator who sets out to solve the mystery of his partner's murder is a durable one, reaching back at least to 1941 when Humphrey Bogart's Sam Spade embarked on just such an assignment in the Maltese Falcon. Motherless Brooklyn aspires to be another Chinatown, a private eye movie set against a backdrop of real-life political corruption. The novel on which the film is based, written by Jonathan Lethem and published in 1999, was a contemporary one, but Norton's screenplay transports the action back 40 years to 1957. Lionel Esrog, played by Norton, is an orphan, hence the title, who was taken in hand by Frank Minner, Bruce Willis, who runs a detective agency. Lionel is not an obvious Seamus by any means. He suffers from Tourette's syndrome and is given to uncontrolled behaviour, twitching and shouting at the most inconvenient times. As he explains it, it's like having glass in the brain, an itch that has to be scratched. Private eye movies tend to be convoluted. One of the most famous of them all, Howard Hawke's The Big Sleep, had plot elements that baffled even the film's director. Motherless Brooklyn is no exception, but as a fan of this genre of cinema, I found it enthralling even at its most wayward. Although the vintage cars seem on these mean streets to look a little bit shiny, the period atmosphere is generally beautifully created thanks to Dick Pope's cinematography and the production design of Beth Mickle. Motherless Brooklyn is a quality production, but it could profitably have been condensed. At 2 hours 20 minutes, it's longer than it needs to be. Nevertheless, the narrative and the characters are so interesting, and the whole theme, the questionable ways in which the redevelopment of a major city are carried out and the rules that are broken along the way, is so riveting that Norton's immensely ambitious film succeeds as a compelling exercise in neo-film noir. I'm giving Motherless Brooklyn, four stars.